So some of my friends have uh, put me up to this. Uh, so we're going to do some small podcasts and talk about things that affect all of us. Today the topic is riding a motorcycle in the rain. So it's quite hypocritical that uh, I'm in a car, but this is the time that I get uh, to do this. Let's look at things from a very strategic uh, perspective uh, first. <clears throat> Whenever you're doing something, you've got to have a strategy or an overriding principle. The first thing on your mind should be your own safety. You can't be governed uh, by avoiding getting wet or avoiding the puddles and then hope that you will achieve uh, your objective of being uh, safe. So if you want to achieve the objective of being safe, then that is what everything should be geared towards. Let's look at what happens when it's raining and you're on a motorcycle. Comfort level is low because you might be getting wet or something like that. Your visibility is uh, less and the grip that you have is also reduced. So these are the three things that you need to take into account. Also one more thing, uh, for all those who have not been watching this video or have decided not to follow this, you are also going to get a lot of unpredictable behaviour from the rest of the road users. So take that uh, into account as well. For reduced grip, you know the more uh, sudden your uh, inputs to the motorcycle are or the more sudden moves that your motorcycle tries to make, that is like turning, accelerating or braking, the more you are likely to lose grip. So automatically it flows that you've got to smoothen out all these inputs in terms of acceleration, braking and uh, leaning, leaning, cornering, whatever you want to uh, call it, change of direction. So smoothen out all your inputs in that area. The next thing is that you're going to have reduced visibility. So again, with the reduced visibility, what it does is it's going to re reduce your reaction time. So when your reaction time is going to be slower or reduced, you need to make sure that your speed is in check. So if you have, if you are at a slower speed, then that's better because then it will allow you to cope with the reduced uh, reaction time. That is what basically visibility uh, means that you can't see far enough and you don't have enough time to react. So that's how you cope with reduced uh, visibility. <clears throat> the other thing we spoke about was more unpredictable behavior by other traffic users. Sometimes even the pattern of traffic sort of changes. If there's water logging in one place, you'll find that everybody is <coughs> concentrating on one end of the road. You'll find that people are reacting unpredictably to things on the road. It's hard to gauge how deep the puddle is or if there is some other thing in it. So expect a lot of erratic behavior from your fellow commuters or road users. Yeah, keep these uh, things in mind. When it comes to comfort, you must try and relax. Sometimes with the rain uh, comes the cold or just you're just overall a little tense in your head. So try to relax that as much as possible. Now you're in it, now you're on the bike, now there's nothing you can do about it. If you're getting wet, you're getting wet. Just by being tense, you're not going to get less wet. So for comfort, there are two things. One is, if you are in a position of discomfort, then try and make yourself <coughs> comfortable, regulate your breathing, take deeper breaths, you'll automatically find yourself getting more comfortable. See what you're tensing up, relax, those things. and. Prepare well in advance. So in the monsoons, yeah, definitely it's going to rain uh, any time and unpredictably. So if you're, if you're carrying or wearing your waterproof stuff, you will be a lot more comfortable as compared to getting wet. So preparation and relaxation on the motorcycle. Now these are some things which will go a long way in seeing how you cope with the reduced visibility and the grip. All right, I hope uh, this helps somebody. See you. Bye.